This game is rated M for intense violence, blood and gore, sexual themes, language, and usage of alcohol. Oh, hello! Bert Spriggan? And we are back on YouTube for episode 8 of Elder Scrolls 5. I'm Spark with Sparkfield Gaming, and in this episode, we get the uh, remainder of the Fusro Da Shout spell, but we also inadvertently begin the Dragonborn DLC, which I didn't realize. This actually all started a couple episodes ago with the cultists. Yeah, it's really crazy. But we don't actually finish it because apparently there's a lot of really strong enemies in that area. So instead we decide to go join the Stormcloaks. In that case, let's get into it. Skull of Hysteria? That's called Twitter. Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Taproot? Holy! Slaughterfish! Alright, let's uh, experiment. Giant's Tope, that's absolutely disgusting. Fortify health. My analysis is correct. The dragon buried near Kynes Grove will be the next to come back to life. The Dragonstone was a map of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast. Down in the Gerald near Riften. The one at well, that's kind of far away. <laughs> Who did that? something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? <sighs> Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, uh... Thanks, buddy. I mean, normally I don't attack people, and norm especially in the case of messengers, because, well, don't shoot the messenger. Falk wreath? Oh. Letter from Jarl Seedgear of Falk wreath. Felix, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Seedgear. And I have the honor to be the Jarl of the proud ancient city of Falk wreath. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane... Hmm. Aside from the honor that accrues from the title, my thanes are entitled to personal. Oh, House Carl, that's what that, that's what Lydia is supposed to be doing. I also can tell you privately that a choice parcel of land would be available. Uh... So I think this is where like the house building aspect gets added, but I don't know if this is a DLC specific or not. That's the problem with that sort of thing. Nobody's been here for a while. They just took their things out of the chest and bolted. What am 
What happened? Oh. Do you mind? There's such a thing as personal space. You are stepping on my tail. The crawl. Hello. I uh, see. I wonder how many people actually know what I mean when I say the crawl. Okay, we're getting close. What is? He tried to eat it. I'm sorry, my Bruna. I did not want to do it, but you made me. Okay, so it's definitely on that side of the river, so I might as well just take a nice swim. Is that a bear? Lady up, you're fired. Oh, this was a fisherman's hut. Oh, this was a fisherman's hut. Ooh, treasure map. That doesn't help. Where is that? Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. That's fair. Oh, there it is. I think something's killing it. Uh-oh. There's a there's a giant over there. Lydia, I swear to god, if you if you if you bulk the giant, you're on your own. Alden? Holy! Whoa! Buddy! Let's talk this out! Do I need to attack it? I do. Saclanir. Or no, Salakanir.
What? Never see the cat absor absorb a dragon's soul before? I suppose. I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. You know, apparently in the actual lyrics for the theme, for, for Dragonborn's theme, it does actually reference Alden. Alduin. Whatever. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out how to find it all. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone. For the last 200 years, We've been searching for the next dragonborn to guide and guard as we are sworn to. But we never found one until now. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. The ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks. Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? So if I understand the lore of, um, of Elder Scrolls correct, Tamriel is the continent. Skyrim is the country. There are a number of other countries like Morrowind, that also appear in the Elder Scrolls series. But you know, I thought it'd be funny if there was like a joke, because I know about how people were talking about how janky the Morrowind SC or uh, NPCs look like. So I thought it'd be funny if there was a dude in this game who looked just as jank. And when you remarked about him, the guy standing next to you said, oh, don't mind him, he's just from Morrowind. Little did I know that we'd actually be going to Morrowind later in the episode, at least a small portion of it. Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. <laughs> they could teach me a few things about paranoia. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Delphi, you seek a door key. Okay, start the quest. Diplomatic immunity. Wow. Okay. I need to do a little bit more research because I d there has got to be some kind of storage system in this game. I am at your command. Oh. Lydia, have you ever wanted to hold a dragon spine? 
Now watch this. I'm going to completely forget. Forgot. I'm going to forget that I gave gave this stuff to her, and freak out when I want to sell it. Meanwhile, I'm going to take this horn thingy back to High Hrothgar. Good talk. I don't even know what that was. Oh. I don't want to wake up an old man. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of your <sighs> Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Yay. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. This is, you're going to make this painful, aren't you? <laughs> you have completed your training, Dragonborn. We would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. You can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeard. You are ready. What's happening? Now that that's been complete, Tamriel is our oyster. And you know, there's something I've always wanted to do ever since I got up here. So, yeah, let's see what happens if I jump. Let's find a good place to do it, though. This was anticlimactic. What'd I just do? What's down here? Is this the kitchen? I don't think I should. Hello? This looks oddly familiar. I believe I mentioned... No, I didn't actually get around to finishing my sentence, I don't believe. I was, it was when I was talking about soul gems. There is a way to get soul gems. You need a special sword that belongs to some evil goddess. I don't know where, but that door looks remarkably similar to what I saw. Yes, yes. Okay, so I'd like to clar clarify a couple things. One, the blade I was thinking of, the sword, was called the Ebony Blade. Two, it was in fact behind the door I was just looking at down in the cellar. Three, it does not provide the Soul Trap enchantment, which was allow you to put souls inside soul gems to recharge things. And four, the only reason I know this is because I saw it on outside Xbox. So, yeah. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. 
Bro, you look like your hobbies include laughing maniacally, twirling mustaches, and tying pretty girls to train tracks. I don't know why. I think I should be genuinely concerned to spend any amount of time around you. Well, the behaviors they actually programmed into this game are really impressive. Like, games like this, Arkham City, where you can see the various... Or you can hear the goons talking about life choices, regrets, and all that. It's really, really incredible and impressive. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. Buy it a sister and sell her in a second. <gasps> what? I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> You just let me know what you need. I am at your beck and call. Isn't it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political powers. <laughs> ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. I remember hearing people say some unkind things about you. And you know what? I think they were right, asshat. Aventus Aretino. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. So yeah, we got a lot of we got a lot of quests we can do. Oh, that's right. This is not one of those This is one of those weird games that slows you down when you hold left shift instead of speeding you up. I never knew why anyone would do that. They act like it's a stealth game. But when you have a subcategory of... When they have a subcategory of magic that's literally called Shout, the fuck do you want me to do? Play the game stealthily? I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm such a bad person. Lamp, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I am such a bad person. I know. I killed the little fox by yelling it and zapping at it. Uh, Thank you. Isn't there like an entire DLC dedicated to Daedra? Or one might say Daedricated? Ha 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 ha. Get it? Daedricated? Ha 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 ha. Daedricated? I'm heading in the completely wrong direction. Fuck me. I didn't get to read it. Gosh darn this wonderful internet connection speed. Said <laughs> no one ever. Ah, uh, yes, don't mind me just getting myself a nice bat dose of hypothermia. How do I get out of here? Do I have to actually go in through the city? Yeah, I do. Piss bricks. We haven't taken the side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these gray skins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight. Ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking, unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that is. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. Mm. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, 
just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Wait, isn't this where I'm supposed to meet, uh, what's his face? Relithor? No, that's a, that's a glory hammer band member. Um, nope. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Aratino is doing the Black Sacrament? Trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimvar. Always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Dr. Captain Yarland is looking to book passage. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. Sure. Yeah, that's me. Why? Who sent you? Now, hold on. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know they were going to attack anybody. I don't even know how I got here. It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. That's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. Well, a man's got to make a living after all. Oh, fuck buckets. I wanted to go... And that gold was supposed to go to buying a house and... I don't know. But I guess we're going to fight cultists now. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? So where is this? This is... Where are... Fuck, this... This game is huge. We're not... We're on a flipping island. We're not on Tamriel. We're not in Skyrim. We're not in... We're Visit to Raven Rock, Outlander. State your intentions. Mirak, I. I'm not sure. Does I do? Just remember Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you are here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Second counselor, the security of Raven Rock was my primary concern. This isn't exactly the city of Blackwater. They're on the frontier out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Counselor Morbane down. Counselor Morbane, House Veterans representative on Solstein. Second counselor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. I, I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. I don't think so. I'm not. The, the name has something to do with the Earthstone. I'm not sure. Raven Rock started out as an Imperial settlement. The Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles. But when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. Your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me. The capital of Morrowind. 
In that way, Elisin's Mournhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors. Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. Attempted expansion? Revenge for the enslavement of their people? Or perhaps both? Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives, and many more were exiled from their homeland. Yolan, I was starting to wonder what happened to you. We, uh, we were delayed by bad weather. Oh, bro, you look uh, epic like this. <laughs> so, we're not actually even in Skyrim at this point. We're back in Morrowind. That look, that thing looked like it was about to literally get up and, and walk away. Is that the shrine? Here is the shrine. That they have forgotten. Here be we toil. What? <laughs> that we might remember. By night we reflect. What by day was stolen? Far from ourselves. He grows ever near you to us. You there. You don't seem to be in quite the same state as the others here. Very interesting. May I ask what it is you're doing here? Mira, Mira. It sounds All familiar, right. and yet I can't here. quite place it. Oh, wait, I recall. Makes very little sense. Mirak's been dead for thousands of years. I'm not sure, but it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Mirax toward the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. Building something, clearly, and yet they don't seem to have much to say about it. I'm very interested to find out what happens when they finish. Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on, and I would be unable to see how this all happens. Are we done? I thought so. If you're going to lie, you should at least put some effort into it. Guido good lies, half a truth. The people of Raven Rock know the name Mirak, saying he has a temple near the center of the island. Are those giants? What? Oh, I'm actually kind of low on elf. Thanks. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know which isn't the best place to start. But we know they've been coming from this direction. Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. And I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. 
We were searching the farm when the ash spawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see. Ash spawn. <laughs> Well, this is a volcanic island, which explains why everything's covered in ash. Oh wait, Raven Rock Stormhold. My calls for the unconditional surrender of your forces and an immediate cease, whatever, of all hostilities has been ignored numerous times. I therefore have no choice but to assume your purpose on Sol, on Solstheim is hostile. And to treat Raven Rock Stronghold as an enemy of the Empire? I warn you, any attempt to breach Fort Frostmoth will be met with equal levels of aggression. I will do everything in my power to wipe you and your forces off the face of Tamriel. There will be no further communications between us. That's not good. Have you found something? says it's from General Falks Carius, but that's impossible. Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth, but he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. There's no way he could still be alive. I wonder if all this is, like, something's happening that's bringing a previous civilization back. If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm going to head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. Uh, I might know someone, or maybe not. I can't remember. I, I can't. I just can't be sure. I think maybe he had something to do with a temple. A, a, a temple here on the island. Does that help? Be careful. This General Curious sounds out of his mind. I have a feeling we'll be seeing more of those ash spawns, given that that is clearly an active volcano. Oh, assault walls. Uh, they probably can't hurt you, Terry. You look mostly <laughs> The name is Rallis. Rallis Sedaris, out of Morhor. I've got a financier waiting for me back on the mainland. Sent me here in the interests of obtaining some rare antiquities, the relics of Arzador. But this whole thing became a disaster right quick, let me tell you. You come out of the northern ashlands, you don't expect things to go easy, you know. But this was something outside my particular expertise. When I first got to Colbjorn, you couldn't even see it. Buried in the ash. Most other things on this blasted island. Dug out a pile of the stuff taller than me just to find the barrel. Who knows how much to reach the door? Excavating isn't exactly my specialty. Even if it was, the ash storms fill it in faster than you can dig. You think I've got that kind of money? No. I only get paid on delivery. Can't Takes money to make money, and all that lot. There's a lot of it at the other end, but I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. Uh. What are you? Are you serious? Well, I think I. We can sort out the details of our little arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin. Do you have the gold? Mm. It's all here. Well then, looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. I'll head back to Raven Rock and round up some diggers. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word to you. Pleasure doing business with you, partner. I Yeah, I get the distinct impression I've just screwed myself out of a, a thousand septums. 
Now, I can't... Oh, right, it was, this was as a result of the cultists. I keep forgetting that. that was, this is because of the cultists. This is all the cultist cultists. Oh, hello. Bert Spriggan? I wish I had an ice spell right about now. That'd be pretty helpful. You good, pal? I'll come back when I have some ice spells. Right now, I need to go find the guy who is definitely not Ralathor. I like this music. It reminds me of Fate. By the way, do you guys want to see me play Fate? In case you're curious, you just basically bootleg Diablo. Where else would we be? When the Red Mountain burned, you could scarcely breathe in Morrowind. So we came west. Windhelm was the first city on that. <coughs> north is so unwelcoming. We may have kept walking. The College of Winterhold is the only place in Skyrim open-minded enough to teach magic. Although Ulfric's court wizard has been known to take on apprentices once in a while. If you need another drink, I'll be right here. Honestly, if you're going to leave your doors unlocked and just not have doors between you and a potential assailant, you really shouldn't be surprised if you get stabbed in the night. Lightly armored means light on your feet. Small. We got a nickname for anyone who tries to make us on the white run. And what will you have me do? If he's not with us, this dude is that Grandpa Max? How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Baldrop a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving sure him in disgrace will make up for the Excuse me, Galmar, I'd like to join the Stark Clubs. Would a foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without some? Do I know you? Ah, yes. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Greylock's alive. I hope that's true. He's like that. But he hasn't returned yet, so I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of hell. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. If by message you mean shoving a sword, hmm, hell then. Dolfrith told us quite the story. This dude. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Ah, but first, tell me, why is a cat want to fight the Skyrim? You mistake me. I'm not saying no. Just wondering about your intentions. We're not looking for sellswords. The Stormcloaks need dedicated men and women who are devoted to the cause and willing to die for it. All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel, I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice raids. Oh! You kill an ice raid out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. 
Only the ones I'm not sure about. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. We'll see about that, won't we? Here, take this. You need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful state. So we're ready to start this war in earnest then. Soon. Ice Wraith Bane and Cold Resist. Okay, so it's far up north. Finally! Do you know how much work that would have saved me if I had just... If they just put a marker there. I don't get why there's not a marker there. What the fuck? <laughs> so that's what a horker is. I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen any ice wraiths or trolls. Where's a go at? A greatly optimized autonomous thing. Ooh, corundum ore. Whoa. What is that? What are you? A wisp. That's a nice, that's a nice phrase. They don't seem to do much damage. Wait, I just got a prompt. That's a wisp mother. That is, I have made a mistake. I have made a huge mistake. Maybe if I got myself a horse, I could maybe not die again, please. Thank you. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. See someone run past just now. <laughs> yes. How did you get this? Uh, uh, never mind. Here. It's not much, but it's something. I'm going to track down that thief and murder him. <laughs> you do that. All right, game, where are you going to put me? You going to put me right back at Winterhelm? No awards given for figuring out my reaction. Regardless, that has been episode 8 of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when a new video comes out. If you want to help support me as a creator in other ways, you can follow me on my group channel where I play games with my friends, my brother and his friends. You can follow me on X in case you don't like YouTube's notification system. And you can follow me on Reddit for when I post the occasional meme. In any case, you will have a great day, night, whatever time of day is when you're watching. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, and also don't ask me why my camera keeps refocusing. It's because I moved.